September 26, 2022. A vending machine-sized robot is hurtling through deep space at 14,000 miles per hour. Its target? A rock the size of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Impact. For the first time in 4 billion years, Earth fought back. We didn't just hit it, we moved it. The dinosaurs ruled this planet for 160 million years, but they didn't have a space program. We do, but the DART mission was just a test. Out there in the dark, millions of silent threats are still hiding in the shadows. We call them near-Earth objects. Some are small enough to burn up in our atmosphere. Others are city killers. The problem isn't the rocks we can see, it's the ones we can't. That's why NASA is launching the NEO Surveyor. It's an infrared hunter designed to spot dark asteroids that are hiding in the sun's glare that we have moved from observation to interception. With early warning systems and kinetic impactors, we are building the first real shield in planetary history. We're no longer just watching the sky. We're guarding it. But we don't just destroy these worlds. We visit them. NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission traveled 2 billion miles to perform a high-five with an asteroid named Bennu. It touched the surface for just six seconds. In that moment, it grabbed dust and rocks that have remained untouched since the birth of our solar system dot. And the story isn't over. The European Space Agency is launching the Hera mission. It's returning to the scene of the crime, the DART impact site, to solve the physics of the crash, asteroids carry the building blocks of life and the power to end it. But for the first time in history, humanity has a choice. We are awake. We are watching. And we are ready.